Hey guys, Haley here from Veterinary Practice Solutions. And welcome to our Animated Whiteboard Wednesday. Today's episode is spotting bad staff. Let's take a look at the types of staff you could have. Ideally, you would have this staff member, hardworking and willing to help out with what you need. But you can also find yourself with this staff member who fights with you at every turn. And you could have this one, lazy at work if they show up at all. When you run into the last two a lot, you start to think that the first one doesn't exist. But if you actually look, you may find that it's only a small percent of your staff that are really the problem. So you have to become skilled in spotting who they are. You can't spot the ones who aren't producing if you don't define what production is for your practice. For instance, what is the purpose of your front desk? Is it to greet customers? Or is it to get customers seen by the vet? Establishing what a specific role is supposed to do makes it possible to measure that production. If the purpose of the front desk is to get clients seen by the vet, then you can create a statistic off of that. You can then measure week by week how many clients are gotten to the vet. You'll start to see whether your front desk person is doing something or doing nothing. If you did this with every position in your clinic, you'd begin to see which ones are productive and which ones are bad staff. If staff are not producing, you should obviously attempt to correct and train them. A lack of knowledge can also lead to a lack of production. But if you see that despite this, they refuse help and do nothing, then they're more harm than good. It can sometimes be hard to spot a bad staff member because they tend to infect all of your staff with their negativity. But if you look at statistics and who is really willing to learn and can improve when corrected, you'll start to see that there aren't so many bad staff after all. And in the sea of staff you have, you'll find the ones you really need to worry about. Once you can spot them, you can handle them accordingly. If you're interested in more practice tips, attend one of our free webinars. To register, visit www.veterinarypracticesolutions.com slash webinars or click the link in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.